the Tarot Companion, a portable guide to reading the cards for yourself and others by Liz Dean. So, there's three chapters. There's Chapter 1 is an intro to Tarot. The second one is, well, is the card interpretations of the Major Arcana. And the third chapter is the interpretations of the Minor Arcana. And, like, it goes in alphabetical order. Cups, pentacles, swords, and wands. So, there's not a huge intro. It's quick info to the point of what the author wants to say. And there's two spreads. There's a week ahead spread and the classic Celtic Cross spread that is in pretty much every like tarot book that talks about the cards or or a spread book. So it it uses like I forgot to look in the start like the publication page, but to me, the cards used that it looks like is the Radiant Ride Awake deck images. That's from the U.S. Games Inc. Uh, the Major Arcana for each card it shows the card a few keywords. And, like, at, like, before it gets into each card, there's a list of each card with two, three quick keywords. So, and, so you got a page of the card, so, like, the fool, and then underneath you got a few key meanings underneath. And then on the page with the text, you got upright meaning, insights, it can offer an area of life, of life, so home, relationships, and career, and money. So it goes through those three topics. Obviously there's more, there are other books that go through that. And I believe The Ultimate Guide to the Rate of White Tarot is one of them. I know I read and pretty sure I reviewed it as well. And you got reversed meaning. So if you aren't a person who likes doing reversed meanings of tarot, it's in the book. But I'll, but you do see, again, in a lot of books, upright and reversed meanings. So either you just look for books or sources that just do with upright meanings or you kind of have to skip over that portion. And you got a wisdom message. So for the fool, leap but look first. And so you have some sort of message relating to each of the major arcana. Would It would be something like that. It's like the introduction. It's brief, quick almost boiled down, like to me, almost boiled down to the point of, like, a bo of the, her interpretation. It's supposed to be like a quick, like to me, a quick reference, something you could just like whip out, have a look, and then not have something like, fr like, too flowery or whatever. So, just to the point kind of thing. With the minor cards, it's just upright and reversed, and there is a little more information, but or it's like a little more information, but it isn't as set up as the major. It's just here's an upright meaning of what the two of wands or whatever is, and it doesn't have those three categories, like I said, for the major. In it and with the core cards you got upright meaning as a person as the you card in a reading uh 
So, as an influence, if two or more of like aces or threes come in, like fall close together in a reading, and you got the reversed meaning as well, and like it, there's no conclusion. It goes from King of Wands and then it goes to the acknowledgments about the author kind of thing. So, again, this isn't the first book where I've seen it goes from the last page of information to an index or an appendix or about the author. Sometimes you don't need the wrap-up, and this is one of those books. You don't need that. You got the introduction, you got the information bits, and then nothing. So it's, I found it, like, for this type of book, you, you don't need that type of conclusion. You don't need any more pieces of paper or swipes on a screen to finish the book completely. So I found this, like, I found it really nice, like, a great thing to have a look at, and yeah, a very nice little tarot book. So, The Tarot Companion by Liz Dean. Happy readings!